So I went over winter break to Malaysia. I was looking at environmental policy and the use of geologic resources in a developing country, partially because I'm interested in the more economic environmental engineering sort of side of geology and I wanted to see what that's like in the real world, in practice, and whether or not that's something that I would want to do. If, if I hadn't gone there and actually experienced it, I wouldn't have the type of understanding that I do. At the World Conference of Herpetology, I talked to a professor that was telling about his research that he was doing at California State, and um, he invited me to do it. You know, if you do sort of an internship thing, you are more likely to get funded, and so that might as well go work for a summer in California with geckos. And uh, just a pretty great summer. And basically the research was focused on a rapid evolution of Hemidactylus tersicus, which is Mediterranean house geckos. So he wanted to sh see if um, they were rapidly evolving to adapt to these different environments. The main purpose really to go over there was probably uh, just like to cultivate like our own writing identities, I would say. We had a workshop every day. Um, first thing in the morning, and that was at the uh, the CNC, which is like a cultural institution of Lisbon, you know. Um, so we'd go there and we, we'd workshop. Um, the workshop leader that led my group um, was author Tayari Jones, and she was author of, well, she is the author of Silver Sparrow. Um, amazing woman, had a ton of insight and knowledge, and um, I learned a lot from her. Just amazing people, amazing individuals, and um, the thing that I noticed most was probably just their work ethic and their drive, you know. That was the one thing that really, I guess, influenced me the most was probably, you know, their dedication to their craft. The glory of theory to practice is, you know, you take ideas from all these different classes and then what I learned abroad. And so it's, you know, think of like a, like a cauldron, We're like mixing all this in here and, you know, I'm just, it's meshing. And, you know, it's, you know, I've turned out some really good products because of it. I wouldn't trade what I've learned here, or what I've experienced here, which is the most important kind of learning for anything. I've had two theory practice grants. My first was in between my sophomore and junior year over the summer, and I got the chance to travel for a month to Charlottesville, Virginia, all expenses paid, which was nice, and intern at the Virginia Quarterly Review. And then my second theory to practice grant was in Berlin. Our grant proposal was called Artists and Immigrants Exploring Berlin's International Art Scene. In Berlin, which is this really dynamic art scene, how are these artists coming in from other places and how are they engaging with German concerns? And Berlin is such a charged city historically, so what are people with their own cultural concerns coming into this other environment and how are they interacting with that. I've also been to Vietnam and so that was an amazing experience and actually the first time I ever got to leave the country and we were working with uh, children and families who have been victimized by Agent Orange throughout the generations and also learning about the American War um, from the Vietnamese perspective. Working with the children um, was really really hard but it's an experience that I'm really glad I had because these children in these orphanages that we worked at, it's not enough that they've been abandoned. They also have these horrible deformities and birth defects and just different disorders and diseases and all of that is from a war that happened 40 years ago. And it's amazing to me that one conflict, albeit it was one that lasted for years, that one conflict has consequences for both countries that are still continuing so many years later. And beyond bringing it back to the university to educate people, it's also kind of opened some ideas for me to, for what I want to do in the future because here at OWU I do a lot of fundraising. Seeing all these orphanages that so desperately need funds to feed the kids, to bathe the kids, to give them medicines, I'm realizing more and more that this skill that I've picked up at the university without even really intending to can be used for things like that, to help people that really, really need the money and wouldn't be able to get it otherwise. I feel like it's rare when I talk to another undergraduate student and they have experience working in a completely different country with research. And um, I feel like that kind of gives me the edge compared to some other people. The most rewarding thing about theory to practice is it's this chance to see the world and plainly put, you have ideas about what things are, but then you go and learn about it like physically, viscerally. 
which just inspires and empowers me to be active and to use my education or like my portfolio of work that I've built here of writing samples or experiences I've had in the theater. So just to use it to go and do things in the world. That's what it's helped me with. Theory to Practice is about entering into a dialogue with the world outside yourself.